Everyone's heard of an Englishman in New York. But how about a Scottish churchman in South Africa? The gentleman in question has given his name to a town, a wine region and even a winery. William Robertson coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, as ever, as always, brings you news, clues and reviews. Indeed, we try to keep you up to speed about just about everything that's happening in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is from South Africa, a long way away, due south from where I am. And it's this one here. It goes under the name of William Robertson Chardonnay. And the vintage is 2020. And where I am, this wine comes in for a price of just under 11 euro a bottle. Okay. Now, this wine is indeed from South Africa, and South Africa has grown quickly as a wine producing uh, country. In fact, uh, South Africa is now among the top 10 wine producing countries in the world, with about 140,000 hectares of land under cultivation for wine. And most of this most of this land is in the Western Cape, the area around and to the east of Cape Town. And of course, the um, South African wine appellation system consists of these WO wines, or wine areas, wines of origin. And the wine, in fact, comes from an area of the Western Cape, roughly two hours or so, 160 kilometers to the east of Cape Town. And the uh, broader area in question is the Breed River Valley. All right, the um, wine, as I say, is a uh, single variety wine. It's a Chardonnay, vintage uh, of uh, 2020. So it's been harvested in the early part of 2020, of course, in uh, the South African autumn, our spring. So this wine is roughly one year old in total. It has 14% alcohol, so quite uh, strong in terms of alcohol, four grams per liter of residual sugar, so putting it uh, quite clearly in the dry category. That's the backstory to this wine. Let's turn our attention to the wine in the glass. And as we can see, the wine has a very, very pleasant, um, almost classic uh, straw gold appearance to it. So there's nothing much really uh, to set it apart in terms of colour there. But let's uh, turn our attention to the wine in the nose and see what we can find. Here we go. Let's uh, give it a whirl. Mm. Now in the nose, um, immediately there's a very, very nice um, combination of characteristics emerging here. The overall impression, I would say, is citrusy, although there is something slightly cooler and different in the background. Could it even be a, a hint of melon or something like that? And also perhaps a little minerality in the nose as well. But generally speaking, a citrusy, um, melony, mineral kind of aroma on this wine. It's a very nice combination. Could even be just a little hint of oak in the background as well. I think the wine has spent a little time in uh, oak, French oak. All right, it's a Chardonnay, which uh, quite commonly is treated to aging in oak. So nothing unusual there either. Time, I think, to try the wine now and see whether the characteristics in the mouth differ to any extent from the aromas we've picked up. Here we go. Mm. Now the interesting combination here is rather a mild, gentle aroma in the nose of those citrus fruits. Maybe that touch of lemon, but in the mouth, it explodes into flavor. 
Uh, amazing the, the uh, contrast between the nose and the mouth. I must have another little sip. That was excellent. Because what we're getting here, in my opinion, is a Chardonnay with rather more flavour, or should we say a rather broader palette of flavours than one might normally expect. Yes, it does have that Chardonnay toastiness. Yes, it does have a slight oakiness to it. But what is most uh, perhaps prominent in the mouth is a kind of... Uh, mouth-filling, generous, abundant array of fruits. And here, I think, we're getting much more in the direction of plum and citrus um, in the mouth. Also, a touch, I think, of herbiness as well, which makes the package extremely compelling. Um, a little bit of oak is discernible in the flavour. It's only very gentle, in fact. I believe 20% of the wine has been in French oak for six months or so. So it just has that slight uh, hint of oak to it. It's a very, very generous, compelling wine. It's very pleasant in the mouth indeed. It's creamy. It's nutty. Uh, it has a wonderful array of fruit flavours there, citrus and plum, maybe a touch of melon. The serving temperature has to be correct for a wine like this. Now, I would be thinking in terms of somewhere between 8 and 10 degrees. And for once, I seem to have got the temperature completely right. It's always a surprise to me. So 8 to 10 degrees for the serving temperature. What are we going to be enjoying this with? Well, I think this is a pretty good all-rounder. This will handle oily fish, um, pork, for example. Um, maybe even game birds, duck, pheasant, something like that. But you know, this is a very, very decent all-rounder. Pizza, pasta, this is a good, robust, general purpose white wine that comes for a budget price. Heads up on this one, excellent value for money. William Robertson, you've done a good job. Chardonnay, 2020, three stars out of five. Okay, folks, many, many thanks for tuning in and checking out this week's video. And of course, this was a little introduction to a budget South African offering, William Robertson Chardonnay, vintage 2020. Nice stuff indeed. That was a surprise and a really pleasant one at that. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Yeah, give us a like. We do enjoy getting those. Drop a comment down below if you feel that way inclined. Share the video around to your heart's content. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why not consider doing so? And while you're about it, why not hit that little bell icon down below and you'll be informed as soon as every new video is uploaded. And naturally, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers.
Okay, folks, many, many thanks for tuning in and checking out this week's video. And of course, this was a little introduction to a budget priced uh, wine from Navarra, a blend of four varieties, uh, but excellent in quality. A lovely find, this one. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Yeah, give us a like. We do enjoy getting those. Drop a comment down below if you feel that way inclined. Share the video around to your heart's content. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do consider doing so. And why not, at the same time, hit that little bell icon and you'll be informed as soon as every new video is uploaded. And naturally, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you. But uh, until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers.